Hi guys, this is Vitaly with AFT Dispatch and A2C Logistics and in today's video I'd like to speak with you about barbecue. But first, roll the intro. Welcome back. Before we get started, I'd like to ask you to please like the video, be sure you subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss a single release of our videos, where every Friday we're talking about something that could benefit you in your trucking businesses, in your trucking careers, as well as cover the loads we've successfully booked for our customers, consisting of lease on owner operators and carriers operating under their own MC authorities, running under our truck dispatch services. As always, guys, big, big thank you for all the likes you provided in all the previous videos. Please do keep them coming, and let's talk about barbecue. You know, it seems like a strange topic for a trucking channel, but believe me, this has everything to do with trucking. We're talking about a very unique Texas barbecue experience that has just opened up in Andrews, Texas, where you literally drive your uh, truck and trailer, your entire rig, uh, through its a drive-through for truckers. Guys, this is really, really cool. I'm gonna uh, show you guys a video from a local channel in Texas that uh, you know provided some coverage on this, and you can get uh, the entire video in the description box below. I'll leave a link there for you guys if of interest. That's a good place to come and eat. But the barbecue isn't the only thing bringing people back for more. It's this massive drive-through. One that's big enough for big semi-trucks like this one to get through. This shop is just unbelievable. And when people drive through and they go and they start looking, it says, wow, this is really neat. I never thought I would come to a barbecue place you can drive through and have a semi behind me waiting <laughs> to pick up barbecue. This is great for truck drivers because um, we can only access the, um, the loop, the outer loop. So it's hard for us to uh, actually go into town and get something to eat. So, man, this is perfect. Uh, get to drive our trucks through here, order and take off. Ultimately, guys, uh, this is a barbecue restaurant in Andrews, Texas uh, called Mustang uh, Country Barbecue. And uh, they you know, serve all sorts of stuff from brisket to sausage, pulled pork, chicken, and uh, all sorts of sides as well. And the reason I wanted to make this video because I thought this would be a great opportunity to kind of tell you guys a bit of a story uh, from my past that really ties down with barbecue. And the story starts with, you know, young Vitaly got his very first job uh, you, you know, a big boy job with a salary and responsibilities and the company sends me to Texas for training and uh, you, you know, it was great, I, you know, I'm feeling wonderful, it's a good job, good pay, I'm, you know, I'm young and uh, you know, things are really looking up at that point. They send me to Texas and uh, you know, I, I arrive in Dallas, I go to my hotel room and that night cars got broken into, my car was one of them, so I had a rental and uh, what had happened is they stole everything from the uh, from the car, including a GPS unit. You know, back in the day, we didn't have GPS on our cell phones. Uh, you know, for the guys, uh, for the younger uh, viewers out there, we had these bricks that we had to basically install on the windshield, and that was your GPS. That's how you got around uh, New City. So in my case, I was completely lost. I could barely find my way back to the you know hotel or back to work in the morning. And uh, so what they did is they they actually replaced the car and gave me a really nice uh, upscale uh, Cadillac like SUV. So now I was like, this is a cherry on top. I'm a king of the world, you know, being young and dumb. And, you know, so what ended up happening is this is kind of where the story picks up is, uh, you know, I'm driving to Dallas. Uh, mind you, this is uh, middle of middle of summer, but I'm thinking I'm a cool guy. Hey, no judgment here. I'm blaring music, blasting uh, hip hop and, uh, you know, got my windows down. It's hot as can be. The air conditioner is blowing in my face. And all of a sudden, I, I get a whiff of this uh, amazing, delicious smell of barbecue smoke. I'm thinking, could it be? Because I was told that there is a barbecue joint that I must visit. It's you know near the hotel I'll be staying at, but without a GPS, I had no idea, and you know we couldn't even figure out you know where I need to go. But I get the smell, so I just start driving towards the smell, and lo and behold, I find the barbecue uh, place. It was called uh, uh, Hard Eight in uh, Dallas, Texas, by the airport not far from the airport. And you know, it was a, it was, it was a great treat, uh, best barbecue I've ever had. Uh, you know, Texas definitely got a piece of my heart for that. Uh, but it really ties down with this story in a way, and that's part of the reason why I wanted to put up this video. So yeah, we're all young and dumb at some point. We do all, uh, you know, all sorts of funny things and stupid things uh, that we look back on. But this is a story I'll remember because uh, I have never found a restaurant by uh, my sense of smell alone. And uh, that barbecue, yeah, it had the entire neighborhood covered. So guys, hopefully we can share this video. That's the kind of the goal here. I get nothing from uh, the, the, the folks at uh, Mustang uh, Country 
uh, barbecue, but you know, it, it is a family owned business. I think it's a great idea. It's hard enough for truckers to be able to make, uh, you know, smart decisions as far as their diet on a truck. It's hard to live on a road. It's hard to eat healthy on a road. We actually made a video last year. I'll leave a little card here in the corner. It's uh, really a good video for truckers because it gives you some tips and some examples on what you can do, uh, you know, uh, when looking for food at, uh, at a truck stop, shopping around or restaurants, things like that to make sure you're a little bit, uh, you know, more healthy. But would love to see you guys share this video out there all over Facebook, especially our Texas viewers. Guys, definitely share this video. Even if you're not uh, in Texas, uh, you know, it has that cumulative effect. If we can get this thing out there, can you imagine the kind of effect we would have on this small business that we had a ton of truckers go through? Now, they're already getting a lot of traffic uh, from the southwestern part of the country. It would be really cool to plug in all the truckers going OTR across the country. So please share this video. Make sure you smash the like button on this video and uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, do all the bells and whistles and all that stuff. I'm gonna switch over to camera. We're gonna look over the loads we book for our customers and I'll see you guys in just a moment. Welcome back guys. Let's take a look at some of these loads. We've got vans and reefers today. We can see very uh, clearly there's a noticeable increase in rates. Guys are doing very, very well. We're gonna start off with a dry van. Lots of short runs uh, here and there and uh, great money coming out of Houston, Texas, going to Mount Julia, Tennessee. It's uh, one pick, one drop, loaded to scale plastics, about 44,000 pounds. All, everything has been palletized, 797 miles booked at 2850, got them 358 a mile. Then new Johnsonville, Tennessee, going to Front Royal, Virginia, it's a 42,000 paper load. Uh, 676 miles at $2,300, got them 340 a mile. Then Elkton, Virginia to Philadelphia, it's a 42,000 pound beer load, 257 miles, booked at 1,200 bucks, got them 450, uh, 467 a mile. Then Montgomeryville, Pennsylvania, going to Flemington, New Jersey. It's a light load, 20,000 pounds, straight through delivery of appliances. 32 miles is a really short run, paid 350 bucks on that one, that's $10.94, quick money. Then Phoenixville, Pennsylvania, going to Twinburg, uh, Ohio, it's a 20 22,000 pound load of groceries, 386 miles booked at $1,040, got them 269 a mile. And then out of Jefferson, Ohio, going to East Peoria, Illinois, it's uh, just nine pallets of tractor parts, less than 20,000 pound load, 523 miles booked at $1,417, got them 271 a mile. And they finished off with Eldridge, Iowa, going to Ottawa, Kansas. It's a 40,000 pound load of uh, dry food products, uh, going to a Walmart, 414 miles booked at 13. 50, got them 326 a mile. And that was it for them. Did a fantastic job. It's a solo dry van go running Friday to Friday. Ended up grossing $10,507 on their 30, uh, 3,085 loaded miles that were, were ran an average of 341 per loaded mile average. Excellent, excellent job. Next, we got ourselves a reefer coming out of Webb City, Missouri, going to Atlanta, Georgia. It's a 42,000 pound load of soy milk and refrigerated goods, 744 miles booked at 2,900 bucks, got them 390 a mile. Then right out of Atlanta, Georgia, zero deadhead going to Pageland, South Carolina, a 30,000 pound load of frozen goods, 284 miles booked at 1,400 bucks, got them 493 a mile. Then. Uh, uh, looks like Conover, uh, North Carolina, going to Elk Ridge, Maryland. It's uh, light load, 1,000 pounds of furniture, 414 miles, booked at 1,700 bucks, got them 411 a mile. Then uh, Tafikaman, uh, Pennsylvania, with a one pick, two dropper, going to Pottsville, Pennsylvania, and a final in uh, Carfton, Pennsylvania. It's a heavy, heavy load, 48,000 pounds of organic raspberries, 340 miles, booked at 1,000 bucks, got them 294 a mile, and they finished off out of uh, Johnstown, or Jonestown. Pennsylvania with a one pick two dropper going to Henderson, North Carolina and Morrisville, North Carolina. It's a 35,000 pound load of refrigerated goods, 415 miles booked at uh, $1,405, got them $339 a mile. And uh, this driver reefer solo running Tuesday to Tuesday did uh, very well, grossed $8,405. Uh, running 2,197 miles, booked at 383 per loaded mile average. Very, very well done. Next, we got ourselves a dry van team. These guys did very well. Uh, coming out of Imperial, Pennsylvania, uh, going to Chesterfield, Michigan. It's a 45,000 load of bottled uh, water, 312 miles booked at 1,200 bucks, got them 385 a mile. Then Stanwood, Michigan, going to Sterling, Illinois. It's 46,000 pound load of Nestle goods, 336 miles booked at $1,120, got them 333 a mile. Then a multi pick, it's a two pick, one dropper out of Elk Ridge, uh, Elk Grove Village, Illinois, and Birmingham, Alabama. The two picks going to Montgomery, Alabama. 
So it's a fairly light load, 30,000 pound uh, FAK, freight of all kinds, 776 miles booked at 2100 bucks. got them 271 a mile. Then out of Montgomery, Alabama and Birmingham, Alabama, took a load to Naperville, Illinois. It's uh, another 30,000 pound load of uh, freight of all kinds, and most likely just the same facilities actually. Uh, 777 miles, booked at 2100 bucks. got them 270 a mile. And it finished off out of Chicago with a one pick, two dropper to Salt Lake City, Utah and Twin Falls, uh, Idaho, uh, 40,000 pound load of dry goods, 1,617 miles booked at 5,500 bucks, got them 340 a mile on a ton of miles, did a wonderful job. They ran for six days only, uh, Saturday to Friday, six days of driving, ran uh, 12,020 uh, dollars gross for the six day period, over 2,000 bucks a day this team made, ran 3,818 miles and averaged out a 315 per loaded mile on a ton of miles running as a dry van team. Very, very impressive. Uh, then we got ourselves a uh, reefer come out of Houston, Texas to uh, uh, Materi, uh, Louisiana. I'm sure I butchered that one. It's a beer load, 44,000 pounds on the way, 342 miles booked at 1,200 bucks. Got them 351 a mile. Then uh, Richland, Mississippi, going to Pittston, Pennsylvania. It's a 40,000 pound load of fresh food, 1,140 miles booked at $3,797.57. That's 333 a mile. Then Manchester, Pennsylvania to Salem, Virginia, got them a 43,000 pound load of miscellaneous products, 308 miles booked at 1,050, got them 341 a mile. Then Harrisonburg, uh, Virginia, going to Delaware City, Delaware, 41,000 pound load of meat products, 242 miles booked at 1,040, got them 430 a mile. And they finished off with Rosedale, Maryland, going to Massillon, Ohio, 43,000 pound load of potatoes, 435 miles booked at 1,500 bucks, got them 345 a mile. All in all, solo uh, reefer running Sunday to Sunday, gross eight thousand five hundred eighty seven dollars and fifty seven cents running twenty four hundred sixty seven loaded miles at an average of three forty eight per loaded mile average very very well done then we got ourselves a regular dry van also a solo kennedy texas going to pell city alabama 884 miles booked at 3100 bucks got them 351 a mile then right out of pell city alabama going to albertville alabama it's a forty two thousand pound load of alloys super super short run 55 miles booked at 700 bucks got them 1273 a mile then uh, Sylacaqua, Alabama going to Westland, Michigan. Uh, this ended up canceling. It was a tonu of $300. Then Cantonment, uh, Florida to Conover, North Carolina. 40,000 pound load of dry goods. 563 miles booked at 2,000 bucks. Got them 355 a mile. And they finished off with Shelby, North Carolina going to La Crosse, Wisconsin with a 42,000 pound load of fiber products. It's 1,011 miles booked at 2,500 bucks. Got them 247 a mile. Going to Wisconsin, a great market. Uh, ended up uh, running the solo uh, van. Wednesday to Wednesday, grossed 8,600 bucks, uh, ran 2,513 uh, loaded miles at an average of 342 per loaded mile average. And uh, next we got a reefer coming out with uh, two pick one dropper out of China Grove, uh, North Carolina and Clinton, North Carolina, going to Vineland, New Jersey. This is a 46,000 pound load cases of uh, bell peppers, 626 miles booked at 1,900 bucks, got them 304 a mile. Then right out of Vineland, New Jersey and Tafika, uh, Pennsylvania, two picks, two drops going to Kinlock, Missouri and Sheraton, Iowa. It's a 20,000 pound light load of fresh produce, uh, 1,209 miles booked at $3,000, got them 248 a mile. They finished off with Marshall, Marshmallow, Iowa, going with a one pick two dropper to Salisbury North Carolina and a final and done North Carolina with a 40,000 pound uh, load of fresh pork 1153 miles booked at 4600 bucks got them 399 a mile and that was it they ran Saturday to Saturday uh, solo reefer grossed 9500 bucks on their miles 2988 loaded miles at an average of 318 per loaded mile average very very well done we're gonna finish off with a dry van coming out of Memphis Tennessee going to Park City Kansas 30,000 pound load of chairs 533 miles booked at 1880 got them 353 a mile then McPherson Kansas going to Britain South Dakota it's a 13,000 pound light load of insulation materials we're talking 558 miles booked at 2,000 bucks got them 358 a mile then Mitchell South Dakota going to Bard New Mexico 44,000 pound load of animal feed 806 miles booked at 2450 got them 304 a mile finished off with Moshu 
Uh, Texas going to uh, Perham, Minnesota. 30,000 pound load of snack foods, 1,153 miles, long run, $3,200 booked, got them 278 a mile. They ran Wednesday to Wednesday, grossed $9,530 gross on their uh, week, ran 3,050 loaded miles at an average of 312 per loaded mile average. As you can see, these guys did a fantastic job, uh, especially a team, you know, over two grand a day or for six days, very, very good. Uh, great average, great miles. All the guys did very well. Well, and this is all thanks to the hard work of the drivers that are driving behind the wheel as well as the dispatchers who are managing to get these types of loads, be, uh, managing to basically set you guys up in such a way where you're going to be in a win-win situation from, from here to here to here to here and then come the end of the week and you got yourself a really great average. A lot of our customers are doing this, uh, you know, are doing this well. Uh, you know, when the markets were up, we were absolutely destroying uh, these types of numbers and we're doing that even today in today's uh, market. Obviously, there's been an increase in rates and believe me, we ride the markets. You're going to get the very top dollar from the market as long as you put in the, the hard work, have the right equipment and, you know, and a few other things in place. Get in touch with us. Get the information that you need to get started. Whether you're a leased on owner operator or carrier, we work with both types of truckers that are out there. All you got to do is give us a call or text us at 801-448-6363. You can also go to our website at aftdispatch.com forward slash go. Get all the information there. Get on the newsletter. We'll send you some emails with information or just fill out our chat box on any one of our web pages on uh, our website. And uh, we'll get back to you and answer any and all questions that you may have. But most importantly, until next week, guys, uh, have some barbecue and stay healthy, be wealthy. Take care.